Hi, and welcome to Tech Tidbits. I'm your host, Kristen. Today we'll be talking about the modality principle and how you should apply it to the multimedia courses that you create. Not sure what I'm talking about when I say the modality principle? That's okay. With the help of Janet and Doug, you'll know what it is and why it works in just a few minutes. So let's check in and see what Doug and Janet are up to. Hey Doug, what's up? Ugh, this tutorial is driving me crazy. I just can't get it. Let me take a look at it. Oh, I see what's wrong. Let me see what I can do. There, see if that's any better. It's easy to change the page margins in Microsoft Word 2007. All you have to do is click Page Layout in the ribbon at the top of the screen. Then click Margins from the Page Setup group. Here you can choose from Preset Options, or you can select Custom Options. Custom Options lets you set your own margins, page orientation, and which pages you want to apply the changes to. Oh wow, that's a lot better. How'd you do that? Well, I just applied the modality principle. The modality principle? What's that? It's the idea that when a graphic is the center of focus, like in the tutorial you were watching, you should use audio narration to explain the graphic instead of using text. Oh, so when you're describing a graphic or an animation, say the words, don't write them. Exactly. That's pretty cool. But how do you know that works all the time? Well, think about how many ways there are to get information into your head. What ways can you think of? Hmm. Well, I can see information, and I can hear information. Right. There are really two ways, we'll call them channels, for you to receive information. Your visual channel, or your eyes, and your auditory channel, or your ears. With the first tutorial, all of the information had to enter through one channel, your visual channel. That channel was basically being overloaded. That's for sure. I was getting so frustrated. I didn't know where to look. I would start to watch the video, but then I'd have to look back at what was written about what I was watching. Right. So I changed the text into audio. Then all of that information could go through your auditory channel instead. That's really interesting, Janet. I'll have to remember that. So the modality principle means that when you have a graphic as the focus, use audio narration instead of text to describe it. Right, and it works because it takes advantage of the two channels you have for processing information. Hey, thanks a lot, Janet. But have you noticed that someone is watching us? Hey, so you're interested in the modality principle too? Well, let's see what you've learned from our conversation. See if you can fill in the blanks to this phrase. If you said, when a graphic or animation is your main focus, you should use narration instead of text, you got it. Let's try one more fill in the blank. If you said there are two channels for processing information, your visual and auditory channels, or your eyes and ears, you're right. So now that you know what the modality principle is, I hope that you'll apply it to the multimedia courses that you create. Be sure to tune in next time when we'll be talking about the contiguity principle. Thanks for watching.